I'm not against paying higher taxes. Personally, I would fully support a higher income tax rate, a progressive tax rate on capital gains above a certain threshold, and a slightly higher corporate income tax rate. There's a big problem with Graham Stephan's recent video about Biden's new tax plan. One problem with it is that Graham Stephan seemed to indicate that he's okay with much higher federal income tax rates for both individuals and corporations. But the truth of the matter is this is actually very bad for the economy, especially over the long run. The truth is what Graham Stephan has not talked about in his video is that when the federal government actually raises tax rates, federal revenues go down. Now, you never that's not talked about in his video because he kind of indicated, I'm okay with paying more in taxes, but that's not exactly how it works. Just because the rates are higher does not necessarily mean that people pay more because people might elect to do, take more, uh, more advantages of the deductions and credits or possibly even earn less money because it might not be worth the bother. So what Graham, I think one problem with his, uh, with his analysis is that I think he might be doing this in order to become popular uh, in these times where there's a little bit of class warfare and he is rather wealthy. So he likes to say, hey, I don't mind paying more in taxes, but here's a problem when you also analyze his own behavior. He says that, but then he used to live in California, which has a very high tax rate for income. Then he moved to Nevada, which has no state income tax rate. I don't know if he even admitted that the reason he moved there was partly for tax reasons. So I really always think that there's a big problem with people who are really wealthy who say they don't mind paying more, but then their actions show the exact opposite. See, that shows that just because California has a very high income tax rate, people can choose to leave like Graham Stephan did. So that shows that incentives matter. When the rates get too high, people just will uh, take advantage of deductions, credits, they will earn less, they might move to a different jurisdiction. Uh, and so that shows you this is not wise policy. What is the point of raising the rates? Now, as an example of how pointless this is, uh, the Biden budget wants to raise the corporate income tax rate from 21% to 28%. But if you manufacture in China or I, uh, or Mexico or wherever you are, you are anywhere in the world, you're paying the corporate income tax rates of those countries. So if it actually becomes, if our tax rates get very high in the US, it makes way more sense to actually manufacture outside the US. It's a kind of like imposing a tariff on yourself. Ironically, to show you uh, how people who even opposed lowering the corporate income tax rate they actually showed how wise the policy was. I remember the Starbucks CEO, he was opposed to lowering the corporate income tax rate. And he said, kind of like, I'll show you guys, I'm gonna raise the wages of my workers to prove that I don't agree with these uh, lowering the tax rates. But why did he raise the wages of workers? It's because there was a lot more money left over for the company to raise wages. So the truth of the matter is that uh, Corporate income tax rates are oftentimes indirectly paid for in the form of wages. Like people get lower wages because of the in in, uh, corporate income tax rate. Shareholders don't really actually technically pay the corporate income tax rate because since we have a worldwide uh, capital system, if the uh, if shareholders were to pay uh, the ones who paid it, they would actually just. The, the way they do it is they just shift their money around to the country with the be, uh, with the best uh, with the best tax rates, and as, as a result, oftentimes the people who are actually really paying are the people who are the least mobile, and that usually means employees. That's just the fact of the matter is that's that's why reason why wages went up when rates went down. It was almost like a, an awakening to a number of people that hey, after all these years who was really paying the corporate income tax rate. It was really workers, it wasn't, it wasn't shareholders, it wasn't uh, anybody else really. So that's something to keep in mind. Now, I think that there's a problem when YouTubers say things that they know themselves, it just doesn't make sense, like raising the uh, income tax rates and the corporate income tax rates 
when we're on a worldwide competitive system. And the truth of the matter is we want to have a system where it makes sense to invest in the US. It doesn't make sense to invest in the US when you have anti-capitalistic uh, policies. So I think that, oops, <laughs> almost lost you. I think it makes sense uh, to actually, for people to be a lot more straightforward with you and just admit things that might be unpopular. I think a lot of people uh, to say, oh yeah, we gotta, we gotta stick it to them. But the truth is, when you impose anti-capitalistic policies, what do you get? You get a place like Venezuela in the long run. I know it's not gonna happen immediately. People would say, oh, you're, you're just being, um, you're just being uh, very controversial and that's not gonna happen quite like that. But the truth is, it's like stages. Are you moving towards a freer society where things can work and people are free to trade with one another? Or are you still kind of moving towards a Venezuela or a Cuban model where it becomes very anti-capitalistic and things start to moving backwards? So I don't think that's the system we want. I think we want a system where people uh, keep more of what they earn and are able to trade with one another and be happy. I don't think people are necessarily happy with a giant federal government that uh, doesn't really even deliver uh, efficient services as Graham admitted. So I doubt that people want more money going to that system. So keep this in mind. I think Graham is wrong to uh, support the Biden plan. I, I'm not sure why uh, he does so, to, to be honest, because I kind of th see it as just uh, him kind of trying to be popular. But if you look at the comments on his channel, it looks like people don't really necessarily agree with him on, on that. So I think that he needs to really realize that people are a little bit more sophisticated nowadays they realize the government uh should not be doing this so he should be in opposition to it anyway uh if you enjoy this video subscribe hit the like button and i'll see you in the next video